Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today we're watching Mob Psycho Season 2, Episode 1. The first season of Mob Psycho holds a very special place in my heart. It, uh, The animation, the music, the comedy, the story, everything was just awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And we kind of ended on a clean slate and a little bit of a manga feeling bit. And I'm, I'm just, I, I don't know what's going to happen this season. I hope that we get to see a little bit more of Teru as a mentor, nurturing the psychic abilities of the kids that were trapped with Ritsu. That would make me very happy. Obviously, Ritsu and Mob's relationship is in a good place. We had that really kind of solidifying moment of Mob bending the spoon at dinner oh. and Ritsu fixing it. And I just, I feel like that was like the, a specific moment that just shows kind of where they are now and kind of where they've always been deep down. Yeah. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm sure you were super elated of Reagan's amazing <laughs> powers. I mean, in the last couple episodes of the first season. I guess so. I mean, it's not changed. Right? You were always been... getting on me about my Reagan slander. Well, yeah, but I mean, he hasn't really changed much from episode one. He's just been great. Like, <laughs> like nothing's changed. Um, like, sure, I guess you could make an argument that Mob might have, you know, <laughs> uh, gave him like a thousand percent of something. But whatever. It like the it, words it barely that did he anything. spoke. The words that he spoke were always the same, <laughs> and they were always inspirational. And I love that man. And I am excited to see if we see more of Sho and Claw and maybe Sho's father. Right. We were given at the very end there kind of the possible ultimate villain of this series. And we didn't even really get to see the face fully. Uh, we're definitely going to see Sho again. Yeah. I I think especially he's going to want to enter into the story to visit Ritsu. I agree. I am curious. Okay. I think Reagan has a potential here to upgrade buildings or like just be more successful because if depending on how cooperative Dimple is, if Dimple's cooperative, there are a lot of different ways Reagan could use that to his benefit. Thank you for reminding me. Reagan can <laughs> see Dimple now. Yeah. I'm he can also Endless see every other possibilities. Experience. Yeah. Um, before we get into it, it is the first episode of a new season. Anna, what does that mean? Oh, uh, we decided that first episodes of seasons will be available in full length for free on our Patreon. To everyone. To everyone. Thank you, Blind Wave. But without further ado, you ready? Yeah. Sweet. Very similar to episode one start, yeah? I don't think we've met any of those people. New intro, maybe? Ooh, a haunted property? We're making house calls now. At least he only did it to kill time. You've come to the right place. <laughs> Wise decision. He has, I love that he has theme music. <laughs> oh my god. Daikon fairies? Is it the scarecrow? <laughs> the spirit's true form. <laughs> High Rigal, Rigal. level. 
It's like Dimple. Show me the deed. <laughs> no. -uh. It's such an interesting new dynamic that Reagan can see them. You need to find where it is. <laughs> Interesting. No way! He just like retook control of all of it? <gasps> Quick learner. Angry spirit. Cause I like that he's around. using these things. No shot. <gasps> That's awesome. I'm dumbfounded. Kageyama Shigeo, saver of the world. Oh. Legos? Rubik's Cube? <gasps> They're like a super team. This is like genuinely good. Ooh. This isn't like counting to 100 good song for a mob psycho intro. Like this is a good song. I love that. So is it mob psycho 102? <laughs> Did you see the, the poster? <laughs> Probably the right call. We're gonna try to get Mob's president. He's gonna be the shadow leader and the actual leader. <laughs> oh my gosh. Picking up right where we left off, right? <laughs> no, he's liked her for a long time. Childhood friend always has a chance. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, she's good. Resolve. Hardcore training <laughs> montage. <laughs> oh, that's a cool. That's cool yeah. that he resigned and told the truth, and now he's running again. He wants to, to win it the right way. Mm -hmm. Oh, is their idea? Oh, I love that. <sighs> Redemption. Does Ritsu even know that Bob is doing this? I kind of hope he doesn't. Yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one knew! <gasps> Subomi! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so much support in the audience. And he hasn't said a single word yet. Come on, buddy. Is he gonna take the whole five minutes just with his mouth open? Do not say a single word. No. A love letter. You know oh who it's God. from. Oh. She's cute! No way he doesn't, you think? I want him to, but I don't think he will. 
Or he's about to get bullied. Is this gonna make Tsubomi jealous? Maybe. <laughs> he's had some practice dates, it's okay. Yeah. He can do this. <gasps> but I'm waiting for something know, to go wrong. I know, I'm waiting for stuff to hit the fan. He walks her home and then he goes back to school. Oh, he's so happy. <笑>わからないなら分からないって言いなよ。あ、ごめん。違うんだ。それか。いつか。自分の気持ち持ってないの。ああ。告白したのも本当は罰ゲームなんだ。無言スピーチを見て面白がって。<笑> This does not feel good. This is torture. <laughs> He's still there. Even if he can't feel, I can. <laughs> oh no. She's getting picked on. Oh. Put it back together, bud. Oh. <laughs> can he put it back together? I hope he can. No! Mob, do something! Is she really gonna fall for him? This is some romantic magic right here. This is <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> what is happening in the land of Mob Psycho? It wouldn't have been special. It was the gesture itself of him picking the things up. Is She's she the author of this story? Stop! That's what I'm saying! <laughs> Interesting. Okay, that was Mob Psycho season two, episode one. When I saw that letter in the locker, I swore that it was going to be Onigawara being like, P.S. I'm actually a girl. And it was going to be his like attempt to cheer Mob up for the Body Improvement Club. I had no idea that it was going to go down this actual lovely like, heartfelt route with ups and downs. This I... was so big for Mob. I, well, like, also, we're gonna need to get into the fact that Subomi obviously was aware of all of this. <laughs> this was a huge moment for Mob. Like Dimple said, he chose to show someone his psychic powers again. And it wasn't that he used his psychic powers that would, it was why he did it. And it was even before that, that he was picking everything up. Like his thoughts and feelings and reason, they were clear and, and they made their way 
Emmy understood them. He wasn't showing his psychic powers to show his psychic powers. Showing his psychic powers was the result of him wanting to put this back together and save it. I think it was enough for him that Emmy came and and started picking it up with him. Yeah. That was enough that he saw that she also thought it was important. Obviously, it was her work and she was trying to pretend she didn't think it was important. But I think he saw that as really big of her to to kneel down and be picking it up with him and be thankful that he was doing this for her. And he was like, well, I'm going to consider my feelings more. And what I want is to put this back together. That's what I had just pulled up because I think it's really important, not just for this episode, but potentially the rest of the season that quote unquote, I made the decision to consider my feelings more. Like that's like an acknowledgement of him having feelings and not just suppressing them the entire time. That's some serious growth man i'm so proud of him that it i'm really really glad that it ended the way that it did because after the conversation on the hill about it being a dare and like just digging straight into mob i was like this is messed up man like you're really gonna like kill me like that this like the first episode of the season but this was such a great way to go about it when they Like, Mob is not dumb. He's not an airhead. He might seem like he's empty, you know, of emotion or thought or anything like that. But that that moment on the hill when she admitted that this was a lie and all that, and he started remembering all of those moments that they've had together as he's walked her home, it made me think of when Ritsu was pretending to be white tea poison. And Mob was like, I know what you're saying is there. there's not all of that is the truth. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Mob, I think he trusts his impressions of people. He trusts his idea of their character, like Reagan. What Reagan did when he first met Reagan has basically means the world to Mob of this is who Reagan is as a person. This act of kindness these words that he said to me as a kid he is a person to be trusted and cared for i am very like okay the whole theme of mob being extremely agreeable and doing things because people tell him to i love that he has now made his own decision to consider his feelings i'm hoping that he has not come to that conclusion because emmy had said it so it would therefore repeat the pattern of him doing things because people suggested it but i love that i i like emmy's character i didn't expect if it if it was just how it was originally portrayed to us it would not have that deeper like feeling to it if it was just she was inspired asked him out and they were doing like going on walks. I was happy watching that. Don't get me wrong, but it felt like it could still just be a one-off bit. It felt like, um, like an OVA or some little like a a bit, I guess. Um, which makes me wonder if Emmy is going to be a continue, like continue in the show as a character. I mean, I'm sure they all go to school together. She'd at least be in the background. But this is a, I think she has to be in it more or maybe she doesn't. Maybe the whole point is that someone needed to show him that he needs to consider his feelings and that he can show people that he's a psychic. And they're not necessarily going to be disgusted by him or creeped out. Maybe she was just a device in that way for his growth. I could see her being in the story as much as like Karata and Mezito is like, like not every episode, but she's shown every now and again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Subomi, <laughs> the whole, like it really seemed like in the flashback that we got last season of the interaction between Subomi and mob and then her not being as interested in it. It seemed like at that time mob might've been leaning too heavy on just the psychic powers enough being like like that's it that's all he has to show because he sees excitement as a response and doesn't offer anything more so like part of me like a party trick yeah and 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 it's just like oh it makes her happy so i'm gonna keep doing it and maybe sabomi's like 
I don't like dislike that you have these powers, but like I want there to be something more substantial, like in your personality, and you to have something else. So for there like, to be depth to him. Depth. That's exactly the word I was looking for. Like I. Or I could, maybe she was disgusted because he was doing it to make her happy. Yeah. And not because he wanted to do it. Yeah. I. I don't know if Sub- Subomi just happened upon being here. It's or... just so cute. It it seems like she. Just so happened to be, maybe she's watching out for him often. Maybe, or maybe like she was walking by around the same time Mob pulled up and wanted to stay there to see like how it went and how Mob handled it and if she needed to like step in or anything and then saw how Mob handled it. Like, I I love the addition that she's there. Uh, She says smooth. It is rather... A very romantic it gesture. Is. Yeah. Of, of mob. I mean, it's just a very, obviously, it doesn't need to be romantic. It's a very kind gesture, but. I think it's smooth. I think yeah, that's the it's right. Smooth. It's yeah. smooth. I. If he wanted this girl to possibly want to go on dates with him, then he, he is on his way there. <laughs> without trying. For without it. trying. Yeah. It was, which is the best. It should be that you naturally do things that are sweet for other people and they can get to know the real you and fall for that. I'm really glad Dimple wasn't there because he would have tried to like sexualize the whole situation in every possible way. Remember like uh, in episode five when uh, Teru and like Dimple and Mob were all having their encounter and then Mob was thinking back to all those kind times with Dimple he was reminiscing of and being like, oh, I could teach you how to uh, have x-ray vision. Just kidding, you perv. I don't know how to do that. Or like, <laughs> oh, I can blow up that girl's skirt. I'm so glad the temple wasn't there. It was good for Mob to want to do this on his own with Ritsu not around, Dimple not around. He was willing to basically let someone else into his world. Yeah. And into the real him. What do you think about Kamaro being president again? Like, I love that it wasn't his like ploy or plan to to do this in order to get reelected and to be liked again, and that he was forced to do it by the other two members of the council, and they were like, "That's the better way to atone for what you've done." Yeah, is not just admit it and run away, but admit it and then make yourself better. Put yourself back out there and promise to be better. And that's amazing. I loved Captain Musashi's like initiative for Mob. Like when he Mob's like, oh, I have club, don't I? And he's like, no, 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 no. It's it's free weight day. Like, just go on, go on. Like they like they all care about him so much as a person. Like the whole body improvement club. As well as Ritsu's response, like to him being on stage, was just yeah. Ritsu the worm. was like, "I was gonna support Kamara, but this changes this everything. This changes everything." Uh, and Onigawara was like, "I see. It isn't enough for you just to be the shadow leader." <laughs> I was like, "Yes, please." So good. I I don't know if the whole mob becoming a cult star with Mezzato is ever gonna pan it's, out. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> It's a it's a it's a thing and it's not going to happen. Yeah. I it makes me uh I guess happier that I got the sweatshirt cuz it's reappearing. But I don't know. I didn't even notice that's what you were wearing. Yeah. <laughs> I like I just love that design of him. I I like that the season is starting like we said at the at the end of last season it kind of felt like oh okay everything's okay again we're returning back to school the evil villains are gone and dealt with and I really do like that they started the season going back like showing us a before of one of the last scenes that we yeah. saw at the end of last season which is really aw- awesome way to start this season to make it feel like a continual point. It does. It, fe- it doesn't feel like there was a month it, skip. It, it doesn't feel like this right is up. a different season. Yeah. It almost feels like it was uh, one of those recaps that happens before an episode starts. But I, I'd say it's like a even more natural type of recap mm-hmm. because sure we had the bit with uh, Reagan and Mob in the beginning, but how that transitioned to the whole um, 
Mezzato in the uh, like in the restaurant and then talking about like trying to get Mob to be more outgoing. And then it literally picked right off, uh, right up after a scene that we ended with. I mean, technically what she wanted from him happened Yeah. in this episode. He she just did, doesn't know it. He did something, put himself out there. He spoke in front of intimidating girls. Yeah. I... And he cried in front of them. <sighs> Poor baby. My heart. I really care about him a lot. I know. I, he's easy to care for. I, uh, it's not hard to like him up. Yeah, very true. Um, we we did get a little bit of like growth. Um, from not just emotional. But oh, you mean in terms of his psychic powers? Yeah, he was you. He was taking control of vines. I was like, this is sick. He made a fist out of them and punched somebody with it. I remember like punched the thing. Uh, we talked about Mob possibly being able to do things like that when we saw mm-hmm. Teru do it when we first kind of arrived at Claw to get Ritsu, we saw that Teru got that whip thing, remember? Yeah, and Mob made a comment of being like, you can use psychic powers and like forms of techniques. That's cool. Yeah, so it's like he learned from Teru that he, that this is an ever, ever growing ability of his. It it can be whatever he needs it to be in that moment. It can be, literally retrieving pieces of paper that have flown off in the sky and putting them all back in actual order. Yeah. Like that's, uh, it's it's like he's starting to realize that there are some amazing things that he can do with these powers. Not just fighting, like good things he can do for people. I love that. Like, um, when, when we think about this, that we started this episode off with a certain kind of exorcism of the land in 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 itself. He's doing a really good thing here for these people. Like I remember saying out loud, Oh, he's just doing this to, um, uh, cause he had some free time. Cause that's what the guy said. But then you see his socks and then you hear that he does, he needs to pay to send his son to high school and it's he doesn't have time. anything to pay with. And then you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And that's a really good thing that Mob did there. He basically just, I mean, it's, <laughs> let someone fail on their own. If he's a bad farmer and his crops won't grow, you know, on his own, then that's then that's his fault. But the fact that it was some other thing and Mob was able to yeah. get rid of it. That's, that's such nice. a good thing for someone else. I, I am curious as to if powers, like the the ability to fast forward growth in a plant, is that something <laughs> But it all tasted psych- bad, which is yeah. perfect. Is that something all psychics can do? Or does Mob have the, does Mob have control of what lives and dies? Like I feel like we can only use Teru as an example. And yeah. Um, I, we had like a hardcore training montage of Mob this episode. Next episode, I demand a hardcore training montage of like Muto, Kaito, Daichi, uh, Rei, like, and Teru putting them all yes, through. Yes, this, this, um, new opening for the new season made me really happy. Because yeah. I was really hoping that those other Esper kids were going to be a continual, like, thing in this season at continual characters uh so i'm really happy about that i really really liked the song itself like i still have the first season song stuck in my head because it's so like intertwined with oh this is mob psycho and i'm listening to it i can't listen to it without thinking of like oh this is 100 percent mob psycho like uh, it's counting up but this song was like just a like it's for Mob Psycho, of course, but it's genuinely a great song. It's a fun song. Yeah, I mean, fun visuals too yeah. to go with it. Legos. I mean, you cannot say that Mob Psycho 100 is not fun to watch. You can't like even in just aesthetics and visual. You can't. You cannot say that it's not possible. Also, we were really painted with this like team. Yeah. It. This is a team. Mm-hmm. Like a superhero, they're like all the Power Rangers right there, you know? They're going to defeat Claw. These these characters are going to defeat Claw. For why? 
though. For why? Yeah. To, to protect all the espers out there in the world. That's not mob style. Look at Reetsy. Look at their poses. Oh, I love it. Even dimples like this. <laughs> the ol- I will say the only disappointment I have in this entire episode is this pose. Because Teru is in, in his, like, you know, known for... Where Psychic he like, puts pose. his legs together, yeah. where it looks like he has to pee. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, I, I thought you were going to say the only issue is that his hair is short. Oh, well, no, that's inherently wrong. <laughs> but, like, that's his, like, final form when he's there. But oh. no, like, the leg thing. I'm like, where is it? And, like, Ritsu is going to grow. Yeah. Ritsu is going to be nurturing his powers, too. This is, I didn't, this is not something I would have guessed at beginning the show, but. I like it. I really like it. Me too. I'm excited to see where it goes. Mm -hmm. You good? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time.